Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 12th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun, huge plasma filament ripping away from the bottom part of our sun, as well an M-class solar flare taking off from the right-hand side of our sun, departing sunspots. And as well, still some plasma filaments stretching across our sun. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, another cresting sunspot. No new events have been thwarted our way, but these cresting sp sunspots are pretty active. Looking at outgoing imagery here, the right-hand side, Top of the disk there is where the M-class solar flare occurred, producing quite a sizable CME. Huge plasma filament taking off here, falling back into that sunspot for a C-class solar flare. Another closer look here at the M-class solar flare outgoing position. Wham! Highly energetic sun right now, to say the least. Another closer look here at the incoming sunspot regions and earth facing. We are expecting some space weather starting 13th to about the 15th of May. Looking at 193 angstroms here and you can sh see the coronal hole in the northern hemisphere. That is that big elongated darkened region stretching to the equator on the sun. And of course, the minor flashes there, C-class solar flares and M-class solar flares. So very busy sun, releasing about 10 solar flares overnight. One up into M-class and just recently another M-class solar flare. So three M-class and one X-Class in the past 48 hours. And then you can see many, many others. Looking at Lasco 2 and 3, all of the activity taking off from our sun. Amazing. I've never seen the sun so active, especially in just a two-month period. So many sunspots, so many flares and CMEs. This was to be expected, NASA predicting strong solar cycle maximum. As you can see here, space prediction spiral showing expected space weather 13th to the 15th, and then it will carry on. Real-time solar wind, having a look at all of the te telemetry right now, 335 kilometers per second after being down to 266. That was ahead of the space weather. And as you can see right across the board here, polarities, density, and the phi angle showing activity. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 36. Pretty steady energy across the board. Amplitude of 43, quality of 9, power of 21. Let's get to earthquakes here for the past 24 hours. Looking around the globe, we're going to start with the largest earthquake that was reported today, and it was a 5.3 here. In Uzbekistan, 29 kilometer depth, eastern Uzbekistan. And that's the largest that we've seen in the past 24 hours. After seeing pretty sizable earthquake the other day, 6.8, Argentina. Also Romania there with a 4.1. 5.0 here in Banda, Indonesia as well a 4.4 north of Krakatoa, Sumatra, and then lots of activity here through Banda Sea, Gorontolo 5.1, pretty deep as well, 129 kilometer depth, and then earthquakes all around the Banda Sea, up into the Philippines, as well a 4.4 here in Yonokuni, Japan, and then the Northern Islands also seeing activity today, 4.4 from the north, moving central, Papua New Guinea with a 5.1, Solomon Islands with a 5.2, and 
And then we get to the Fiji, Lavuka, Fiji, 586 kilometer depth, 553 kilometer depth, and 523 kilometer depth. So three very deep earthquakes today, Tonga region, Fiji, expecting a larger shallower earthquake to follow, especially with all that activity. Quiet through Hawaii, increased seismicity through Alaska, but nothing major to report across the United States, small Earthquake swarm there, Toya, Texas, South America, 4.6 here, uh, Tino Gasta, Argentina, but pretty quiet across South America, looking at about 230 earthquakes according to the USGS for the past 24 hours. Giving you a quick look here at the past seven days for shakers across the planet quick moment to say much love to you all and welcome all of the new members to the family i appreciate your viewership and i appreciate the support to the channel aka likes shares and subscribe to daily events worldwide let's have a look here pacific disaster center showing the most recent satellite imagery and the most recent volcanoes getting updated today seven kaya in peru samus napochnoi united states Krakatoa, Indonesia, Fuego, Guatemala, Nevada's de Ruiz, Colombia, and as well, Etna put on quite a show last night, Reventador in Ecuador, Dokono in Indonesia, and as well, Ibu, Indonesia. So that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 48, if not 50, volcanoes active and erupting across the planet. Quick look here at satellite imagery across the world. United States seeing still some extreme weather moving through. Last night they had quite a few tornado watches and warnings heading through Wisconsin and Michigan. And tonight they've got them running through as well. Watches already. Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So South Dakota is the, the target area tonight south and then into north and northeast into wisconsin pretty big low coming out of colorado this week the center of the low has still yet to completely make it through colorado but big cloud tops here satellite imagery showing some vigorous storms moving up into manitoba and looking across the world it seems that there are still some very large low pressure systems, both hemispheres, and a lot of, lot of cloud associated with the mall. Compared to last year, it seems to be a little bit of an increase. And as well, the cold record still lingering across the northern hemisphere. It was snowing just the other day in Calgary. So I thank you, my friends, Sean. And as well, Laura, for sharing these photos with daily events worldwide. Crazy weather across this planet. And let's have a look at the five-day forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and, of course, daily events worldwide. Starting out here in Ontario and Manitoba as we have that big low forecasting to come through here. Through Manitoba and then shoot northward up into Hudson Bay. Watch for a lot of snow on the backside of the system. So flood watches, flood warnings will continue over the next couple weeks for Manitoba. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by the floods in Manitoba. Long range forecast here showing an intense low coming into the west coast. And then a long range, another low heading into Manitoba. Ontario, we'll see a few showers here coming up this weekend. And then again next weekend, but high pressure ridge is dominating and as well the warm temperatures. It was 30 degrees here in Brantford, Ontario. So warm conditions already moving up into eastern parts of Canada and a lot of rain forecasted in the long range here for West Coast. As well, we've got an interesting system here developing through the Atlantic we may have a very intense Gulf storm developing 
long range forecast showing a low just off the coast of Ecuador here. And it looks like by the 21st into the 22nd, it will be forming off the coast of Mexico and heading northward over Haiti. West coast of Haiti, watch for hurricane right up until the 23rd and 24th. And then look at the forecast models for the center of the Gulf of Mexico here. We could have a doozy of a hurricane here developing for Texas, Arkansas, and Mississippi. Heads up. The Gulf of Mexico. All coastlines. Long range forecast. Stay tuned to daily events worldwide. I will keep you updated. Quick forecast and a look around the world here. Low pressure system lingering around Eastern Europe and as well Central. Gray days ahead of you. United Kingdom, you've got a lingering low coming to you next week. As well overlooking Asia here. Southeast Asia, Japan. Watching a tropical cyclone developing the long range. Just west of Manila, the Philippines. And then it's going to take about four or five days to trek northeastward across the coast of Japan. Pretty big storms coming into Australia as well. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to smack that like button. Share with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.